Welcome everyone. Thank you for that introduction. I would say the entire team was responsible. I cannot not be credited for the success. Uh, for the next few minutes, I'm going to share my thoughts on the new influencer paradigm in India. And how is it helping brands in building their brands? How is this influencers helping in building the brands? It's interesting, this is an interesting slide. We all know Mr. Amitabh Bachchan, I think he needs no introduction here. He has been the biggest influencer in the past and even now he continues to be. But what is more important to see here is that who is Mr. Amit Bhandana? He is a new age influencer influencing large masses today with his content in the digital medium. Let's go back in time. In 1990s, things were dramatically different. There were very few people influencing the masses and those few people just came from either Bollywood or sports, you would agree. And brands had only these few faces amongst themselves and they recycled it over and over again. Let's have a look at the typical endorsement brands used to do in that era. I think this person needs no introduction again, uh, Mr. Satyan Kundulkar. He is referred to as the god of cricket. And every brand wanted a piece of Mr. Satyan Kundulkar. And I would like to cite an instance here. I was influenced by one of his brands that he was endorsing, which was MRF. I was a cricket enthusiast myself, and I wanted to play cricket, do batting. And I wanted an MRF bat just because Sachin uses that bat to play like Sachin. That was the power of influence he had on me. And he was endorsing too many brands in that era. And that led to a pitfall. Sometimes brands compromise on their reach, visibility, storytelling after when he's endorsing so many brands. Then came the new digital revolution. And this digital revolution, I think, is a boon for all of our marketeers and influencers. It's interesting to notice here that today, one third of the population owns a smartphone and by 2020 this is going to double, almost double. I think I just mentioned one third of the population have a smartphone. They actually carry knowledge and entertainment in our pockets today. With the emergence of the digital age, there came a lot of the digital platforms were born. And these digital platforms the interesting thing to notice here is that the amount of reach that they have garnered over this decade and the amount of time people are spending on these platforms, it's really encouraging for us, marketeers and influencers. Let's just tap into this golden, golden mine, you know. This is the digital era, the digital revolution. I just talked about the celebrity influencers which have been there in the past, they have been there, they are currently now also, they will be there in the future. But what is more important to see here is the two other levels of influencers that are added with the digital revolution. They are the macro influencers and the micro influencers. The macro influencers are basically area, area domain, they are expert in the area domains. And the micro influencers are people like you and I. And I would uh, just take an example here. Whenever anybody wants to buy a smartphone or a TV or a tablet here, they are, are we just buying it by seeing an advertisement? I think the answer to that is no. We are seeing, we are following, we are seeing the blogs of the area expert to get that technical knowledge. And we are also talking to our peers, our subordinates, and people at large who understand their experiences about the product and then making a final decision on what we need to buy. And the other two layers that I was just talking about, the micro and the, mic, mac, uh, macro and the micro uh, influencers, what they lend today is a lot more authenticity. And you would agree with me there. 
And that authenticity is really important. <clears throat> Today, if you want to buy a product, we from online, say for example online, the biggest e-marketplace, one of the biggest players in the e-marketplace is Amazon. And Amazon, if you want to buy a product at Amazon, we just don't see the product and buy it. We first see the ratings of the product, and we also see the product reviews, and then make a decision on buying it. Similar is the case with Zomato. Today, we don't see the menu first. We see the restaurant first and the ratings of that restaurant before ordering the food. In the, with the emergence of the digital era, the second part is the engagement is a very, very integral part. Awareness all, has always been there, it will be there, it is a large part of our marketeers who have their awareness to our brands. But what is equally important today is the engagement. And engaging with your consumers directly and transparently, that is very, very important. I would like to present to you a case study on Pulse, that how Pulse, how influencers were an integral part of the success of the brand Pulse. We at TS Group, we have a diversified conglomerate with uh, interest in many business areas. We uh, have a legacy of uh, nine decades. And our core competence lies in understanding the Indian flavors and pregnancies. For the, nine, for the last nine decades, we are understanding consumer taste and preferences. Brand influencers have been very integral part, as I mentioned today but they were equally important in the earlier era. But what has changed? The change that has happened is that in the earlier times, the brand, when it was getting, the, the time taken for the brand to get successful was much more than what it is happening today because of the influence of digital era, digital age, and because we can communicate to our consumers now and a large base of consumers to get in one go. So I talked about Pulse, I just, uh, we have a video here, and this is how Pulse was, when we launched Pulse, this is how we got the response for Pulse. Thank you. 
Yeah. So it's kind of sacred. Yeah. For everybody else, I'll stop you. You know what's coming up. This is available at every little town of sacred shop around the city. Everybody loves it. That's like ice cream. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Mm. A little bit of that. We've got sour, we've got sweet, we've got that sulfurous, add some seeds and apples. That's sweet, is that all in sugar? That's like a cumin. So is that cumin? Yeah. Or yeah. not cinnamon, it's cumin. Cumin, yeah. Mm. I quite like that. You like that, right? Most of you would know he is the Michelin star chef, one of the world's best chefs. He was recommending Pulse, that's the power of influence. And since we had a lot of fans, and these fans were our advocates, they started recommending their product to in their social circles, to their peers, to their friends and family. This was majorly happening online, but things were also offline. Our retailers, trade partners, everybody was an influencer for Pulse. So we have talked about the influencers. There's also a side to the influencers is success. Uh, when a brand is successful, there's a lot of counterfeits that come. And with Pulse, we had faced the same phase. We had a lot of counterfeits, more than 50, more than 50 counterfeits available. And some of them were looked like exactly like Pulse, just slight intervention in the name. And the problem that happened was that a lot of consumers, by mistake, had the product, counterfeit product, and they had a bad experience. And then when they had a bad, bad experience, they started to write about it on the social handles. It's very simple now. And the interesting thing here to note is that there, in the social space, we had a huge amount of influencers which had already faced this problem. They came out first before we came out to the public at large, they came out first and educated those people. That is the power of influence. Media, a very big influence again. Please have a look. It's a 6,000 crore market. I'm talking about sweet candy. And a third of that is owned by hard boiled candy, which is approximately 2,100 crores. The DF Group's pulse has achieved a sale of 100 crores in 8 months. Take a look. That uh, you know, your fans have made. That is actually a social media. Social media playing a very crucial role uh, when a lot of brands are concerned. At the time when Pulse was sold at a premium of 50% to its MRP, but I'm not going to take any chances with Pulse. I'm taking the entire jar back home. Well, they can't keep pace with the demand. Production is right I haven't tried it, but I know everybody in our Bombay office is addicted, is addicted to Pulse Can. I think most of the offices would have had the same. And it is very important to have a great product for all of this to happen. <clears throat> With this, we also had a large amount of impressions in the social media space. We are still influencing the masses, but slightly differently. Please have a look. To Karan, have fun and live good life. So much attractive beauty. Kitni jeeje pasand hai? Yeah. Pranjya to pasand na jaye. Thank you. 
इसी तरह मेरे पास इस पंच जीरो जीरो किम का नाम है वो इसे पंच जीरो है अब मैं वो खाने वाला हूँ वो जो क्यों क्यों क्योंकि चटकारा वही सॉल्ट शुगर नहीं राइट आंसर मैं भी वेजिटेरियन ना खाता मैं मास मास पंच कैंडी इस द बेस्ट ब्रोड टू यू बाय पास पास so with the emergence of the digital space we are not limited to only one endorser we have multiple endorsers and you've seen that we are among the top 5 confectionery companies in india today we are the number one hard boiled candy for the last 3 consecutive years and all of this was possible because i think influencers play a major major role in the success story of a brand thank you